Ja, welcome to this video. Playing white against. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, penguin. Something to do with penguins. I don't know, but it's a Q here, right? Okay, we have a, a Tarash. French Tarash. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Probably, probably this is a line. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, play, uh, play simple chess here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be too, um, too bad for white. But how to set up queen, queen b6? Yeah, it's probably. Probably a move. Okay, just protect d4. If he goes queen b6, I can, I can uh, also just go queen to b3. Okay. Check. All right. Yeah, queen a5, yeah, I can, can exchange some stuff. If I go bishop b4, he might play knight b4, threatening some silly discovery. So let's um, check exchange everything. Check. But this should be, um, should be comfortable for white. At least I hope. Got um, slightly better but uh, simply I've got more space yeah, in this position. This is um, always a bit of a double-edged move because you in a way also weaken your light square so that maybe a6, knight a7, bishop a4, bishop b5 is coming into the play. But I don't want knight a5 somewhere. <laughs> okay, here or e2? Probably here. A good idea for black here is f6 and um, putting the bishop on e8 to h5, this kind of setup. This is uh, very, um, very harmonious. Huh, okay. I want to make this knight mobile. This is um, why I move the king to e3, protecting the d4 pawn. We have this is no uh, middle game anymore. You can use your king to to do some some jobs. <laughs> Don't need to have it hidden in the corner all the time. Yeah, yeah. I think f6 is is really something that uh, Black should consider. Of course, this is not bad. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, saying that he can he can do that. <coughs> Knight a7. No? Mm -hmm. Maybe. The question is rook c5. Is this a move? Yeah, it's difficult to prevent this bishop b5 business. Oh, this is surprising. Why does he allow that? Not that it's completely terrible, but um, now I have the idea at least. I'm um, not sure if it is good, but on bishop b5 I can go bishop b1. Keep the, the bishops on the board. Yeah, this a3, b4 business is um, always tricky. Really. Oh, come on. I need to I need to be um, be a bit quicker. 
Let's play some good moves quickly. At least I hope they're good. <laughs> Always uh, so win some space here. So g4, f4, g5 would be nice in the long run. Okay, so I exchange it now. Taking on b5 is bad. Yeah, it is bad. He would. Um, I don't mind. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is a very one-sided endgame now. It's um, probably drawish, but I can I can continue to play that. So how to continue? Hmm. Yeah, probably a4, a5. If I'm able to do that, I should uh, put this on the board. If he goes b5, I have on, in, um, something to attack on a6. Okay, this is now this is a concession. I think it would would, would have been better to take. Uh, okay, yeah, not sure. Not sure. This is this isn't so easy. It it looks it looks like uh, there's not much happening, but it is not easy at all. Okay, let's go to g5. And what would help me? Uh, king to h4 and then f5. This threatens f6. Hmm, I hope this is a threat. Okay, let's just go there at the end i want to play bishop c8 and win this pawn this is clear and uh, oh now i have an additional idea and this is sacrificing on b5 to let the a pawn run Okay, can I do that now even? A6? How does he stop the pawn? I guess he doesn't. A6? And it's 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 a queen. Or as I recently heard in some English speaking speaking uh, commentary, it's a girl. <laughs> it will be a girl on A8. Just just promoting but it, it, it's tricky now it's it's really tricky I'm not sure that black can defend this uh, of course this helped enormously but I'm not sure at all I mean f5 is is, is, is not easy to to handle let's say he, he moves the, the, the king yeah let's say here I go f5 and you cannot take because at the end I get the pawn. This is why he should have exchanged on a5 because then this bishop would actually protect the pawn. And um, yeah, what is he supposed to do now? You can just stay basically. You also shouldn't take yeah. here of course, it's also not helping. Just stay like this. The question is, um, do I have something now? I can, I can go yeah. here even. And then you go here. It is. Is it winning? Something like this. Yeah, it is winning actually. Like this. Check. This is winning here. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. I was. I was. I was too quick. <laughs> what a funny position. I was thinking my idea was taking here Check. if he takes with the king it's it's Check. all all easier yeah? because Check. this at the end will will net oops no 
we get the pawn. But um, he can go here actually. And uh, I don't know how to to do anything. Probably there is no way. Very tricky. So how do you win then? Probably you don't. Yeah? Black just stays. And I cannot take. Or maybe we have, we've got a Zugzwang here. This is possible. Maybe this is Zugzwang. Yeah, the, the bishop cannot move. He cannot take here yeah, because of this again. And you're killed by bishop b5. So black, if black moves the king. Yeah, you go here. Oh, this is great. This is just great. And now you cannot take here. You must go here, and then here we were close to we close to Zugzwang. Very nice. Going to to G four. Now you must take, and this is winning now. Very nice. Yeah, it's it's really it's really a bit much this uh, <laughs> this space uh, this space disadvantage. Check. But very funny, very funny end game here. Yeah, I think one one very important point was that here he simply must take this. He must take it here. He must he must take this is very important to have this bishop protect the pawn I'm still better but maybe it is a draw now I can do all those things but it's not like those the sacrificial ideas are gone and this is not such a weak pawn I mean white is better but it's not easy to win Probably you didn't want to allow this possibility, but you can probably uh, prevent that. Yeah, very nice endgame at the end. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.